Good morning. Uh, my name is Zhang. Uh, I'm presenting this uh, workshop paper uh, titled Assessing Pain Levels from Videos Using uh, Temporal Convolutional Networks. Uh, this is collaboration work with uh, Ye Tian, Gregory Hager, and Chuck Chan at Johns Hopkins University. So um, the motivation of doing this work uh, mainly come from the physicians at Johns Hopkins uh, Hospital. So one physician at the uh, shoulder pain department, they tend to ask, say, uh, we got a bunch of people doing treatment, taking tra treatment every day, and we either ask them to label the pain level uh, in the United States, usually after treatment, you need to uh, you need to write down a score for for the pain level during the treatment, or some uh, some nurse or physicians will do that for you. Can some uh, since AI is taking over everywhere, can uh, you guys automate this process? So we dive in this, uh, into this problem and really want to make it uh, work um, in terms of uh, portable the being portable to the uh, onco space, uh, which is the portal system in uh, Johns Hopkins Hospital. So taking a look at, look at this problem, uh, that's the pay level usually defined from zero, from pay level zero to 10, uh, which means uh, no pain, mild pain, moderate pain to uh, severe pain. So either we treat this as a classification problem or we treat it as a regression problem. Uh, the general background for doing this is not restricted to only, uh, only automating the pay reporting process and also, and also for uh, the general uh, patient monitoring during uh, emergency room. So patients are typically not monitored in the waiting room. Um, deteriorations, deteriorations happens unnoticed, but pain is normally a, a sign of uh, deterioration. So right now, conventionally, either the nurse uh, regularly come to check, or you're gonna check uh, check with the nurse yourself. So if there's a pain monitoring system automatically doing this process, uh, it, it's gonna simplify the pain reporting process, reduce the strain on manual efforts, and also standardize the feedback mechanism, because uh, your report score quite, can be quite different from uh, the other patient. Preface work on this uh, is treat this as a regression problem. Um, frame, basically, uh, it takes every single frame and trade the frame, basically frame X and the pain level Y. So those force form the data points. So they get a bunch of data points and doing regression. Um, the way to do that is to modify the software max conventionally used in CN to some type of a regression loss, say uh, mean square or mean absolute value loss. Um, and they tend out to transfer, basically when I say transfer, uh, I mean fine tuning the norm phase, uh, which is published in uh, ACM multimedia last year. It's, by that time, it's the state of the art uh, face recognition network. Fine tuning norm phase to the face pay net, which means adding certain, adding, sorry. I think I didn't have breakfast, so I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. So adding a, a certain fully connected layer and modify the loss um, with the additional center loss, which means when you do uh, regression, you're gonna get a continuous value for example, you get a pay level 2.1, 2.2. That does not make sense. You still want the value to be uh, diverse, as diverse as possible. You want the values to uh, concentrate in certain values. So the center loss is sort of in the k-means flavor. And that work was published last year in ICIP. Um, so those are our previous work. And right now, we are formulating this into a slightly different formulation because in the end, you don't report the pay level for every single frame. You're still doing the one treatment for the recorded video, you give a single label. So in the preface work, you still need to do some uh, consensus or voting process to get a single label. Why don't you do that holistically for the whole video? That means we cannot treat the frames uh, individually 
as data points, we need to train it as a sequence. So here comes the second approach, which is using the uh, temporal convolution network. The basic approach for temporal convolution network is uh, once you do 2D CNN to extract two features for every single frame, you get a future vector, which is 1D. Why don't you, instead of doing ASTM or recurrent neural net, why don't you just apply 1D convolution over the 1D future vector? It turns out uh, it works well for segment temporal segmentation. So this type of work was published in uh, ECCV 2016 and CVPR uh, 2017. So basically in this work, we apply temporal convolution networks to the pay, pay classification setting. So the encoder decoder temporal convolution uh, works in this way. The encoder consists of certain layers, and I should uh, basically touch upon the experiments. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, data set generated by the physicians at, the, at the Johns Hopkins Hospital, but for the, for the sake of privacy, we tested it on the public data set, which was uh, created by McMaster University. Uh, on this data set, um, we apply TCN to, uh, to generate a single, single uh, scalar, which is the pain score, over the, um, the 2D CN future in our case. For the experiment, uh, detailed experimental results, please see our poster. Thank you. <laughs>